lovely day. We got up to 80 degrees today. It gets warmer though, so when we're talking about water temperatures, water conditions, this is something we'll have to pay close attention to. Uh, Willamette River, for instance, currently 69 degrees, but we have temperatures coming up here this weekend that will put us well above normal. Today's high 80 degrees put us only one degree above our normal 79 for this time of year. We had lots of 80s across the map, a nice sunny day for everybody. Clouds starting to fill in tonight, and that is affecting our temperatures. 65 degrees right now. Wind is out of the northwest at about 10 miles per hour. Onshore flow continues more clouds for us in the morning, which will change how things look for us in the morning. But take a look at what we captured earlier today. A nice little cap cloud sitting right over the top of Mount Hood. That's that moist air being pushed up slope, and we captured it perfectly right there. Kind of looks like a UFO. In fact, coming up a little bit later in the newscast, we'll be talking about a legitimate UFO. You don't want to miss it. All right, thanks, Natasha. Mm -hmm. Day. Yes, our own Josh got out the very special photographic equipment and captured the balloon on camera. I mean, talk about luck and timing. Good job, Josh. Yeah, at this point in time, at 100,000 feet, uh, it could have been almost the size of a car or bigger at that point. Hard to see with the naked eye. But I want to talk to you about balloons because when we're talking about research balloons, I've got a little bit of experience in that department. So it was about 12 years ago, I worked on a project called Red Bull Stratus. And Red Bull Stratus was basically a mission to the edge of space. The jump altitude, that big balloon carried this big capsule weighing 3,000 pounds all the way up to 127,852 feet. That at the time was a record set at that point. Uh, Felix Baumgartner, who jumped out of this capsule, his free fall was a total of four minutes and 20 seconds, and he went supersonic without anything around his body for 30 full seconds without any vehicle. That's incredible to think about. Maximum vertical speed, 843.6 miles per hour. That was a really cool project to work on. Thanks for letting me share it with you. Okay, current conditions right now in Portland, we have 65 degrees, increasing clouds. So that's going to help increase our temperatures a bit in the morning up to about 60 degrees. But by the time we get to lunch hour, starting to move the clouds out of the picture 66 and then getting up to that high temperature of 75. Now let's talk about any chance to see some rain out there. You might get some darker looking clouds carrying a few sprinkles by tomorrow afternoon right around 4 o'clock. But if you think you'll miss it, it moves by pretty quickly. Friday and Saturday, completely dry days and warming up at the same time. Sunday we would be our next chance to perhaps see a little bit of rain come through Sunday afternoon going into evening. But Monday, Tuesday of next week right now are looking pretty good. A lot going on for us here this weekend. Seven day forecast looks like this. So, I mean, this is pretty nice for September. Yeah, really nice and uh, great sunny skies to maybe see another UFO balloon. Keep your eyes peeled. Thanks, Sadasha. Okay. One, take care.